Sam. Yep. Where are we going today? I'm not telling you. Why not? Because it's a secret. Last time, Mitchell took me to see the Dixie Cup water tower here in Lexington, and I had no idea it was there, and that was quite the experience. This time, I have something very exciting for Mitch. It's two hours away, so we're gonna be heading out here in a minute to drive two hours to see this thing, and I guarantee that Mitch will love it. I don't know what this is gonna be. I mean, you trusted me last time. I did, do you trust me? Do you trust me that it's gonna be worth it? It may, it may not, it may not be worth driving two hours to see, but seeing it will be worth it. We'll see how this goes. What you doing there, Sam? Getting the direction pulled up. Where are we going? Are you see? Two hours and two minutes. Oh man. I might have to stop and get gas. <laughs> oh, tank, it's 111 miles. I cannot believe that we're actually. <laughs> that's my idea, so I can't believe we're driving two hours to go see this. Our sponsor for this video, the City Barbecue. Not a sponsor. Are we going to Knoxville or are we going to Cincinnati? What are we doing? Well, we're not going to either one of those places, but... Are we Are we getting on? We are not going towards Knoxville. What? We've got one hour and 47 minutes to go. An hour and 47 minutes. I still don't know where we're going. Does, I'm, it, have, I'm, does it have anything to do with water? thinking that I should be a little concerned because we're actually <laughs> going to a part of Kentucky Sam said he hasn't really been to before which is concerning because I feel like he's been to a lot of Kentucky I mean probably we are technically going towards the end of Kentucky sort of more towards the end of Kentucky than the middle so technically we're not really going deeper into Kentucky we're going more towards. That doesn't. It doesn't sound better when you say we're going toward, towards the end of Kentucky. <laughs> well, yeah. We just experienced our first almost calamity. <laughs> I uh, I dropped my phone down here under Sam's leg, so I had to reach my hand under his leg to where the pedal is, and I uh, so I knocked the car into neutral. Which could have been bad if I like knocked it into reverse. We could have been in. So. Oh my gosh, that would have been awful. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine if you accidentally knocked it into reverse and all of a sudden we're just like, Ugh. oh my gosh, that would have been. Awful. <laughs> <laughs> we are okay. We're <laughs> alive. Well, we're not there yet. No. But Sam is a tiny bladder, so he has to go and he has to pee. I gotta, I really gotta pee. <laughs> I'm gonna go inside and urinate. <laughs> <laughs> there he goes. He's going to urinate. And probably get murdered. I was actually thinking that we would probably end up going. 
we are going a completely different way. There is no way that you would be able to guess where we're going. Uh, the more and more we go, the more and more I feel like I'm slipping into like a Texas Chainsaw type <laughs> type movie. What, you'll, what would be worth driving two hours out here to see? I don't know. I've because this is this is Eastern Kentucky, isn't it? Yeah. Eastern Kentucky is like a place I've never been. It's never a place that I've aspired to go to. So. Yeah, I have absolutely no idea what all's down here, so we can certainly find some hidden gems, that's for sure. We just passed a shed. Like, I made a joke earlier about it looks like a place where there would be like Texas Chainsaw Master. We passed a shed just like five minutes ago that looked just like the freaking shed from the movie. The more and the more that we go, the more and more the trip is turning into a horror movie. <laughs> and I know Sam likes horror movies. I do. Like, look at this up here. Like, they can't see it. They can't see it, but this is just... I'll tell you what a good horror movie is right now, whatever this is. <laughs> Look at this bull crap. Look at this. There are people just camping out in the middle of nowhere. We're in a horror movie. We're in a horror movie and look, look at this bull crap over here on the side of the road. Look at this. This could this is the end, isn't it? No. It's the end. <laughs> it's so funny that you think this is a horror movie. And then when we get to where we're going. <laughs> You're just, it's not gonna be anything close to a horror movie. <laughs> it's gonna be like the furthest thing from it. <laughs> I'm starting to wonder why this place is even out here. Like, I know the story behind it, but it still doesn't really make sense as to why this thing is out here. He laughs at me, and then he says things like that. We're getting murdered. I know we're getting murdered. We're getting murdered. I'm glad I wore my new hoodie to get killed in. Two hours later. Well, we've been going and going and going. <laughs> this is like the longest stretch of road. We've been on this road for like an hour or it's so. Been like, it's been half an hour. It's felt like an hour. I don't even think it's been that long. I also cannot tell if Mitchell is getting bored or worried because this is a pretty boring drive. But according to Sam's phone, we are underneath 15 minutes away. Yeah. So we're getting close. I still have seen no sign of anything that seems worth coming this far. <laughs> so now that we've been on the road for almost two hours, I'm starting to get a little worried that Mitchell is not going to enjoy this. Because it's been a long drive. It's gloomy. It's out in the middle of nowhere. I'm not going to be there very long. So, yeah. I'm not I'm starting to get a little worried that it might not be worth it for him. It would be worth it for me, but I don't know. Oh my god, guys, we are you, we are you, off the beaten path. You cannot see, but we are going down like the Ooh. steepest and windiest. Look at this. The <laughs> steepest. I'm putting the window down. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. That was a. Four minutes? That was something. We're four minutes away? Four minutes away. All right. Did that did that just rejuvenate your hopes a little bit? Yeah, that was a nice little pick me up there. <laughs> <laughs> Sam's starting to laugh a little bit. He knows we're getting close. The good thing is we we've been like for the last hour, hour and a half, we've been in like the backwoods of Kentucky. But we're finally in some sort of civilization. We're in some sort of civilization. I don't know at all. I can feel it. We're two minutes away. He can feel it in his loins. Yeah. <laughs>
I mean, that's where your phone is. <laughs> I feel like, should we be seeing it? I have no idea. Is it something that we will be able to see? No idea. I don't know how big it is exactly, or... I'm so confused. <laughs> All right, so it's gonna be on the right. I just saw the the pin. What? I it's, just saw the pin on it's my. On, it's on the right. It's gonna be on the right. So it's over here. I'm gonna keep the phone on me. Is that a goose? <laughs> Is that a, wait. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> We're here. <laughs> Guys, we drove two hours. <laughs> drove two hours through the backwoods of eastern Kentucky. Just wait until you see Wait it. until you see this. <laughs> I've seen it. I know what it is. <laughs> Let's get out. <laughs> There it is. That's what we came here to see. The, oh God, it's a giant goose. It's a giant goose on an inn. <laughs> uh, Sam, explain yourself. So, um, I, I just heard about this place on the radio. Apparently, from what I remember, it's been a while since I looked it up, but there was like a nursery rhyme, like a mother goose nursery rhyme where there was a house shaped like a goose and somebody just thought it was a cool idea. So they built a house shaped like a goose or the roof was shaped like a goose and now it functions as an inn and people can stay here overnight. So when I said that we could stay here for like 15 minutes or a few days, technically we could. <laughs> it made, it, okay, it and makes... then earlier when you said, does it have anything to do with water? I said, sort of, because geese kind of go on the water. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. So yeah, yeah, it's right there over my shoulder. It's it's a giant goose on top of an inn. <laughs> to be fair, I did say that I didn't think it was worth two hours of drive, but it is worth seeing. It is worth seeing. Um, and don't worry, after we get done talking and everything, I'm definitely we're gonna definitely put up a nice little nice little video montage of the place. Yeah. yeah. It looks like somebody's here and I don't know. Yeah, I think somebody's living here, yeah. so I'm gonna try and we're gonna try and get some shots of it. But oh gosh. Okay. How would you rate this on a scale of one to ten? Not 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 the whole experience, not the drive. Leave that out of it. I mean the drive but see the drive is such an integral part of it. <laughs> so if you live close by, I would definitely say it's worth driving by and seeing. Maybe staying here, I guess. Um as a thing, I mean it looks like you can go up on top of it. It kind of looks cool. I would give it like a good eight out of 10 for what it is. If you live farther away, it's like a one out of 10. Oh, come on. I mean, you don't want to, you don't want to drive out here just to see it. Like we did. Like we did. Like we did. But, so if you're doing that, it's like a one out of 10. But that's but, not really the point. The point was just to see it. The point was just to see it. So overall, so you got a one out of 10, eight out of 10. I'm gonna give this about a six out of 10. Okay. Six out of 10, it's average. So yeah, Goose House, that. Hong Kong. <laughs> <laughs> it, it is worth it, it's worth it. <laughs>